Welcome back guys, moving on with radicals, we have a word problem here. So we have to find the length of the diagonals in each of these cases below. We have two cases and the answer has to be in simplest radical form. So number one, we have a square that has a side length of five centimeters. So if we draw that, we have this square here. Each side is five centimeters. And we have to find the length of the diagonal. Now, the diagonal is always the line that goes through the quadrilateral, like that. So we've got to find the length of this. How do we do that? Well, notice that here we have a triangle. So if we draw that triangle out, Notice it's a right angle triangle, and this is five, this is five. And let's say we're solving for this length, x. That's the length of the diagonal. So I only drew half of the square here. Well, we could solve for this with Pythagoras theorem. So basically the hypotenuse squared is equal to the sum of the sides squared. So this would be x squared equals what? 25 plus 25, which is 50. And then to get the x by, uh, by itself, we square root both sides. So x is equal to the square root of 50. And that is the length of the diagonal, root 50 uh, centimeters. But notice that they want the answer in simplest radical form. So we would simplify this radical. We could break this radical down into root 25 times root 2, which would give us 5 root 2. So that's the length of the diagonal in simplest radical form. 5 root 2 is the same as root 50. Moving on to the second scenario, we got a rectangle with sides 6 centimeters and 4 centimeters. So if we draw that, we got uh, 6 centimeters. That's the length, and then we got four centimeters. And again, we're finding the length of the diagonal, like that. So we could draw this uh, triangle out. Let's say this uh, length of the diagonal is x. This is six, this is four, same process. Basically the hypotenuse squared is equal to 4 squared plus 6 squared. Uh, this would be 36, this would be 16. 36 plus 16 gives us 52. So that means x is root 52. But can we simplify root 52 further? And I believe we can. We can actually break it down into root 4 times root 13. And the square root of 4 is 2. Root 13 we can't further break down. So that is the answer. That's the length of the diagonal in the second scenario. So 2 root 13 centimeters. This 2 root 13 and root 52, those are the same thing. If you plug them in the calculator, you'll get the same 